tell you a tale from the land of Serbia. Those of you who know me know that I was born to Vukashin. And she asked me to learn the tales of her people and to honor her. I shall do, tell you one today. In the land of Serbia, the king had five brave sons, all married with beautiful children. The king decided to build a keep high upon the cliffs. And as the workers began to build this keep, it never would grow, it never would take. Every morning the workers would come back and the rocks had been torn down, as if the villa themselves had come to destroy this keep. Day after day, week after week, month, after a month, the workers tried all they could to make this keep stay upon this land. And it would not do so. Finally, the king knew he must seek advice to find why the villa themselves did not want his keep to be built and how to make it stay. And so the king went upon a quest. And as he traveled, he met the villa themselves. And they took him to their queen. And he said, please, your majesty, tell me, I need this keep to protect my lands. How do I make it stay? What do I need to give you so this keep may be? The queen of the villa told him that one of his son's <coughs> wives must be bricked up alive into the walls of the keep, and then the villa would be pleased. The king, with a heavy heart, went to home and told his sons the next day to each of them bring their wives to him and they would draw lots to see which wife would be walled up alive into the keep. He made them promise not to say a word and they all gave their word that they would not say anything and went home. Four of these sons broke their promise to their father. And the next morning, one prince, and only one prince, brought his wife. And she was brought before the keep and shown the, hall, the hole was in that she would be placed. And she laughed, thinking this must be a joke, yes? Then, she asked the king for two favors if this were to happen. The first was that a hole be left within the wall here. For she had but bore a son two months ago and would still nurse her child. Done, said the king. What is your second request? The second, your majesty, I ask of you a hole in the wall here so that I may see my son every day as he come to me. Done, said the king. And the princess stepped into the space and was walled up alive. And every day her son was brought to her and she would let him suckle upon her breast. And she spent every waking moment watching for his coming to her. After a year, the princess died and the holes were filled in with her remains. Stay to this day. The women of Serbia and their daughters go pilgrimage to this keep. For there where the princess was walled in alive. Even now, a milky fluid flows from the bricks, and the women of Serbia taste it upon their lips so that they may be fruitful and have children.